The days when we let people like you settle things in private have long gone. Nowadays, we go after everybody. Would you say that being held without bail for the last 19 weeks was connected with your refusal to do a deal with Sergeant Beach? Definitely. You did well today. 20 grand instead of 10 years inside, now that's a bargain. No, it's got to be now. Look, I need to go into the station. Right, half an hour. OK. I'll see you there. Right, thanks, darling. for you. I hope you know that. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, well, come in then. So, what's the matter? Well, I need a favour. Jimmy Smith got shot last night outside a pub on Rattery Street and I was with him when it happened. Are you all right? Yeah, they weren't aiming at me. But the problem is, I don't know if I was seen. You mean you weren't supposed to be there? Not officially, no. I need it looked after for a while till I can find out what's happening. I can't risk stashing it till I know if anyone's poking around. Do you think someone is? Well, I'll know better when I get to the station. OK, leave it here. Thank you. What else? You said a favour, you know. Yes, I know. But I need to find the guy that pulled the trigger. If he saw me take that envelope from Jimmy Smith, he could make a nice little deal for himself if he gets nicked. Oh, you're the detective. What do you know about Steve Harper lining this up against Jimmy Smith? Why would Steve have a go at Jimmy Smith? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Maybe he's been poaching on his territory. Don, just because I run a couple of places for Steve doesn't mean he tells me what's going on in the rest of his patch. No, I know. But you could ask around, though, could you? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, Steve. Did you get someone to shoot Jimmy Smith last night? Like that, you mean? Just if anyone's talking about it. It could be a local boy or a new face brought in for the job. Did you see him? Just a glimpse. White. Aged about 30. Ready share. I've got the number of his car, but it's probably Nick. I don't know, Don. Look, I really need this, Chrissy. I need to know what's going on if I'm going to keep one step ahead. What about Jimmy Smith? He'll keep his mouth shut and so will his people. OK, I'll see. So you're telling me you can't think of anyone who'd take a shot at you? Oh, come on. Who knows how many lunatics are running around out there? In my line of work, there's always one or two bear grudges. And which particular line of your work is that, Jimmy? Robbing banks, running protection rackets? Am I under caution here? You know you're not. Well, I just wanted to make sure. I mean, it was only yesterday you lot were trying to put me away. Ironic, that. Oh, we're still trying, Jimmy. Don't worry. Did you see the man who shot you? I only got a glimpse of the car. What colour was it? White. Could have been a Ford, I don't know. I had other things on my mind like this. You were saying about people with grudges. Well, running restaurants and pubs, there's always one or two people you got a sack for being on the fiddle. Maybe one of them got the ump. It's a bit drastic, isn't it? Using a shotgun to settle something like that. Well, maybe it wasn't me ever after. After all, I only got uh, one or two pellets in the leg. Charlie copped the rest of it. Maybe it was him they were after. But Mr Markham says he doesn't know anything. Well, perhaps some bird got fed up with him giving her the runaround. I don't know, you know, women are funny. Ask Marie. Ask me what? Would you take a shotgun to me if you thought I was playing around with another woman behind your back? Well, I'd use a knife. One quick trim. That'd be it. Gone. There you go, see? Women today, they're independent. They don't need us. Not like we need them. Do you want me to stay? And he ought to call the cab office. Tell me if I'm going to be there or not. No, I'll be OK. You get yourself off. I'll give you a call later. OK. Are you sure? Sure. Diamond, that one. You haven't said anything about Steve Harper. Why would I? I hardly know the man. You wouldn't be trying to expand your business onto his turf, would you? You're having a laugh, aren't you? I've been banged up for 19 weeks on remand, remember? And I come home and wallop. I cop this lot out of the blue. I haven't done anything to no one. All right, Jimmy. We'll leave it there for the time being. But if you've got any ideas of settling scores, forget them. Look, all I want to do is to go about my own business without anyone having a go at me or taking the mick. That's all I ask. Yeah, well, just make sure it stays that way. 
Right. You caught the bloke who shot my old man? Not yet. Nah, probably don't want to, right? I bet the Yorkshire Ripper here reckons it serves him right. If your old man had been found guilty yesterday, he wouldn't have been shot, would he? That's for sure. Jeff, leave it alone. For the time being, anyway. Yes, Gov. Morning, Polly. How's it going? All right, Sarge. A bit slow. Yeah? Looks like I've been livening it up for you. I'm trying to get a lead on the fence, and uh, one of my snouts has given me an index for his car. Can you do a PSC? Yeah, of course. Give us the number. N84 RCY. And he says it's blue. I think your snout's got it wrong, Sarge. N84 RCY is a white cavalier. Registered keeper, Donald Bannon, 18 Malpit Road, Sunhill. It was reported stolen yesterday afternoon. No, that's definitely not it, then. I think your snout's giving you the runaround. Yeah, well, if he is, he'll regret it. I've got better things to do. Thanks, Polly. Can I have a word? What about? Did you tell Jeff Dale I pulled a fast one for you when Jimmy Smith was in custody? Hey, no. So why is he going on about visits being kept off the custody record? If you've told him, I'd bend the rules. What did you tell him? The truth. That I wouldn't pull a stroke like that for anybody. Especially you. Then you're in the clear, then, aren't you? I still want to know what's going on. Well, you better ask Jeff Daly, because I haven't got the faintest. At the moment, it seems that Jimmy Smith was shot because some of his men were trying to sell protection to people already covered by Steve Harper. One of these people, Vince Marriott, refused to play ball, so they burned his burger van to the ground and put him in hospital with stab wounds. Harper gets to hear about this. It looks as if he sent a gunman round to Jimmy to teach him a lesson. Well, I should leave him to get on with it. I mean, they're not exactly falling over each other to be cooperative, are they? So why should we use up our manpower? No, Derek. That's just a sort of attitude that causes the problem in the first place. I don't want anybody thinking that we'll turn a blind eye while old scores are settled and innocent people get hurt. I want to push on this one, Jack. Aimed at Harper and Smith so the message goes home. No more tit for tat. Or else. Right, can I have your attention, please? For the next 24 hours, I want you to leave what you're doing and dig up anything you can on Harper and Smith. Sergeant Daly was the last person to have contact with Smith, so any information, you coordinate with him and the DI. Now, at the end of that time, we'll see what we've got. And maybe we'll put a dent in their operations. OK? Go if we've got an operation on this afternoon. I don't want to lose it. Will you get a result? Yeah, the information's solid. The main supply is coming in this afternoon. All right, we'll see it through. But as soon as you're finished, back here. Wake up. Chris, have a word at lunchtime. Yeah. Well, come on. Try and just stand there. Snouts, information, rumours, anything you can get. Yeah, free. You better have those. What for? Well, if you're going to go around checking up on me, you better do it properly, aren't you? So they're the keys to my car and my flat. Oh, and my desk. So where do you want to start? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you asking Sergeant Boyd and whether I fiddled the custody records, that's what. Well, it wouldn't be the first time he pulled a stroke like that, would it? Listen, you have got a big mouth, Daly, and one day it's going to bite off more than it can chew, OK? Back off. All right, lads, you don't want to do this here. Just leave it, OK? Or what? Don. You know, you should piss off back to Yorkshire. Warm beer and cricket, that's about all you could manage. Jim, with me. Someone's going to pass the word along. Round here, they probably think we're DSS looking for scroungers. DS Bolton from DC Skates. Yeah, go ahead. Is there any sign of the target yet? Yeah. Getting funny looks. Just sit tight. He's on his way. So you don't know how it started, then? Well, I reckon that Jeff Daly still know because they didn't nail Jimmy Smith yesterday. Sergeant Beach was a bit strong, though, wasn't he? That crack about Yorkshire. I don't know. I thought it was really funny. Huh. Yeah. Oh, look. There he is. He's coming now. DC Skates from DS Bolton. The target's on his way. Received. Here he is. DS Skates from DS Bolton. Go, go, go! Police! Stand still! What is this? You've got no 
right to do this. Well, well, Shane Smith, this is a nice surprise. I would have thought you'd have more sense than to come delivering stuff yourself. Stuff? What stuff? What are you talking about? Looks like ease to me, Shane. Yeah, we well, planted that. This is a fit-up. Of course it is, just like your old man. You're nicked. Holly, I've got a witness statement from the Smith shooting last night. A woman says she saw a white car speeding away from the pub. You know, if anybody logged a car like that last night. Well, there's a lot of white cars out there, Sarge. I've got a partial plate. It's RCE or RCY. Sergeant Beach was in this morning looking for an RCY. I think that one was white. Now, oh, there you go. Did you say why I wanted it? Well, was something about information from a snout. It wasn't the one he wanted, though. This one's stolen. Well, it might have been useful anyway. Can I have a copy of that? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Hello, Willie. Come here. Oh, come on, Mr Beach. I ain't done nothing. No. Oh, look, Jim. Christmas club money. Oh, look, you have been busy. All this money for Steve Harper, is it? Or are you collecting for charity as well now? Oh, no, look, this isn't fair. Someone took a pop at Jimmy Smith outside the scales last night. Who was it, Willie? I don't know. I was nowhere near. Did I say you were? Who set it up? Honest, well, Mr. Beach, I don't know nothing. Look, all I know is there's been some trouble between Steve and the Smiths. So we're something I don't know, Willie. All right, I heard it was Jimmy Smith's boy Shane trying to move in on the patch, and Steve don't like it. Well, enough to have Jimmy Smith shot? I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to take all this money down to the station, have it checked for forgery. Oh, look, hang on, look, I heard. I heard Steve had some bloke brought in to do the job. Scottish or something. But that's all. Nobody's talking. Find someone who is, Willie. I want to know who pulled the trigger on Jimmy Smith. And I want it soon, OK? I could go and do the shopping if you want. What? But I'm not doing anything here. Anyone would think it was personal. It is, Jim. After what happened yesterday, I need a result. And when I get it, I'm going to shove it right down Jeff Daly's throat. Shane, there's almost 200 tabs here. You're not going to persuade anyone that was just for personal use. Well, personal use? I don't even know what they are. Could be aspirin for all I know. Oh, come off it. You're not fooling anyone with this innocent act. This is possession with intent to supply, and you know it. No, nah, never happened. Be sorted before it gets to court. Sorted? How's it going to get sorted? We found this stuff in your pocket. Yeah, well, Mr Pike is a good brief. You ask your mate Daly. He'll tell you. Is that all then, Sergeant? Well, for now, but when we get the lab results, we're just going to start again. Waste your time if you want to. Interview terminated at 15.31. Well, we've talked to half a dozen snouts who might know about Smith or Harper, but they know there's trouble brewing. Don't want to get caught in the middle. Anything on who shot Smith? Well, bits and pieces, nothing solid. But whoever it was could be long gone by now. But you don't think it's over? Well, I doubt it. Jimmy Smith's not the type to forgive or forget, is he? God, I'm sorry, but I thought you'd like to know. I've just bailed Shane Smith till we get the lab analysis back. Did he admit it? You're joking. The guy's amazing. He just sat there like he didn't have a care in the world. Great big bag of ease on the desk in front of him. Just kept saying it was all going to be sorted. Guy's up with the birds, if you ask me. Are you sure the stuff really was he? Yeah, right down to the little logos. It's going to be an opening shot in court. Good. Nice little dent in the Smith family business. Gov. What is this? Piccadilly Circus? Oh, sorry, Gov. We just got a call from the fire brigade. A warehouse has been petrol bombed in Jamaica Wharf Lane. It's owned by Stephen Harper. I know, because that's what they said. Tell Harper this is for last night. Then they chuck the petrol. Whoosh. Would you be able to pick these guys out from a photograph? No, no way. I'm not doing anything like that. It'll be my house next. I've got two kids. Right, Mr Redman. Can you see DC Carver there and tell him what you can? It won't be a lot. What do you think? I think Jimmy Smith just squared it up with Harper. Of course, we'll never prove it. Well, we'd better find something or the DCR would be lighting a fire under us. Hey, 
It's two fifty, please. Keep it. Thank you. I said you'd phone. I was just passing. No, well, look, I can't stay long because it'll be noticed. Are you all right? Did you get any trouble at work? I'm still one step ahead, but that's about all. Look, is that Stevie's idea of security here? One guy on the door. It's not a nightclub. You can't frisk people before they get a Waldorf salad, you know. Who's the guy at the table behind you with the red check tie? His name's John Fallon. He works for Stevie. Fallon? Fallon, wouldn't you and him? Yeah, ages ago. And not when me and you were together, OK? Together. It's a bit of an overstatement, though, isn't it? So any news on the guy with the shirt? Yeah, I asked. It wasn't easy. Well, go on. Yeah, there is a rumour going around that Stevie hired someone in for the job. If he's still around, he'd be at the Brogan House Hotel. Steve uses it for visitors sometimes. So who do I ask for? There's a barman at the peach tree. His name's Gavin. But go easy, he's all right. Well, he's a friend of yours, is he? Yeah, he's a friend. Right. Right, thanks. I'll see you later. Thought Don Beach had gone home. Well, it's that old dodge, isn't it? Leave your light on, makes people think you're here, but you've just popped out for a minute. Useful. Yeah, it can be, I suppose. CID, Liz Rotten. Yeah? What time is this? OK, thanks. You hanging around, Sarge? Yeah, just for a bit. See you later, then. Yep. Go. Good night, Liz. How's it going, Jeff? Any luck with that fire? Definitely Jimmy Smith's men, but nobody will talk. So why don't you knock it on the head for today, eh? Leave that. Let me buy you a pint of warm beer instead. Uh, you heard about that, then? Difficult not to. Apparently, he wasn't too complimentary about our cricket, either. Still, you can't expect a Londoner to know anything about cricket or beer, can you? As long as it's over and done with. Hey, yes, Gov. So about that pint? I've just got a couple of things to finish. Oh, well, if you change your mind. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Gavin. Over there. Thank you. Gavin? Yeah? Um, my name's Don. I'm a friend of Chrissy Draper's. She said you might know someone I'm looking for. A policeman? Yeah, but, um... I'm off duty. Look, I don't want to get anyone into any trouble. You won't be, but it is important. Look, could we talk over there? The guy that I'm looking for, he's about 30. Pale complexion, reddish hair. Yeah, yeah, he was in here for a drink last night. Um, he was staying at the hotel around the corner, they don't have a bar. Yeah, so you talked to him? Yeah, yeah, he came in about half nine, stayed till we closed. He wasn't with anyone, so we talked. He said he'd come down from Scotland to do some work for a businessman in Sunhill. Yeah. So what makes you think that this bloke is the one that I'm looking for? Well, I, I don't know if he is, but... Chrissy said someone had been shot last night and Terry, that's his name, had a gun. What, he was carrying it? No, not in here, in his room. He, uh, he asked me back for a drink after I finished. He seemed nice enough, so I said yes. So, do you know what sort of gun it was? Yeah, it was, uh, it was in a bag, a hole door next to his bed. I didn't get a good look at it, um, and I didn't let Terry know that I'd seen it at all. Um, but I think it was a sawn-off shotgun. Have you ever seen a sawn-off before? Listen, I'm just telling you what I saw. Hold on a second. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I know who it is. Look, hold on a sec, I can't do that. I'm busy. Look, I set up. There is just one more thing. Uh, what room was Terry in? 34. Right. OK, thank you. And just forget this ever happened, all right? And, Gavin, if Terry comes in again, perhaps you should have a headache, yeah? Thanks again.
What do you mean you can't? What do you think, I'm a storage company? I want it done, now. Don, over here. We've got a problem here, Jimmy. No, no, no. This stuff should have been moved yesterday. But what were your lot sniffing around and Stevie Harper's mob on the other side? I dared take the risk. Shane, now get off there! No, I mean, we've got a problem, you and me. Like what? Like you getting me out of here to stand next to a ton of bent stereos, that's why. How do you know there's not a dozen coppers out there waiting to raid this place right now? Because if there were, you wouldn't be here. That is beside the point. I don't like being called up and given orders. You can do that to your people, but not to me. You saying you're not one of our people, Don? If you want to call me Don, you better be up in the morning cleaning my shoes and cooking my breakfast. Until then, it's Mr. Beach. Fair enough. Shane. Don. This place is safe. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. All yeah, right, well, I'm here now. So what's it all about? You here about this afternoon? Oh, you mean torching Steve Harper's place? I thought you were going to keep a low profile. That was a warning. But I'm on about something else. One of your blokes nicked Shane for drugs. Oh, yeah, I heard about that too. John Bolton was very pleased. What was it? 200 tabs? You should have let your minder carry the stuff. It wasn't any stuff. It was a fit-up. That Bolton planted it when he was searching me. Oh, do me a favour. You walked right into it. I'm telling you, it was a fit-up. He pushed them in my pocket. Yeah, right. You calling me a liar? Shane, go and get yourself a drink. Is this why I'm here? If Shane says it was a fit-up, it was a fit-up. I don't do drugs, neither does Shane. That's the rules. Come off it, Jimmy. You'd flog anything for a profit. Not drugs. I don't like the people you deal with. Yeah, well, have it your way. So why am I here? This Bolton. How can we get him to drop the charges? It's not gonna happen, Jimmy. Shane was Nick banged to riots. The CPS would get a conviction with their eyes closed. But it wasn't banged to riots. He didn't have any stuff. Jimmy, this Bolton set him up. You can get him to undo it. What do you think I'm going to do? Wave a magic wand and disappear the evidence? Even if I wanted to, I couldn't get close. And if I tried, there'd be a lot of people taking notice. But you can do something, because we've got an arrangement. I need Shane off these charges. I want him here with me. I don't need him doing five years. You need Shane around you like you need tickets to the policeman's ball, Jimmy. If he goes and gets himself a handful, you just might have enough time to clear up this mess he's started with Harper. Well, don't you worry about Stevie Harper. I'll sort it out. I want to know what you can do for Shane. I can't do anything. And I'm not going to. I told you. I did you one favour on that conspiracy charge. That's it. Finished. Shane's a big boy. He can look after himself. So don't call me again, Jimmy. I'll be busy. Don. One phone call to your governor. Tell him what you've been up to. Then you'll be a lot busier than you ever thought you were going to be. I want this done. Now. Understand. Give me your arm! Cut him, go on! He had two blokes with him when he came out. I let him have it. I think it's time we showed Jimmy Smith and Steve Harper who really runs Sun Hill. How long is this war going to last? Oh, well, that's up to Jimmy. Hey, you will just sit down here. Don't move and shut up. I think it might have something to do with me finding that in his room. 